installment of the GHS Bonza. Today up to bat is the TS-10, the famous made in Taiwan, um, massly produced, um, with apparently cheaper parts and a way to uh, make a profit. But uh, the TS-10 uh, in recent years has uh, definitely uh, spiked in pri- price on reverb due to the fact that uh, guys like John Mayer are using it on their boards. Um, and he he, he nagged that from Stevie Ray uh, via finding out through his guitar tech, Rene Martinez, that uh, Stevie used the, the TS-10. But I would imagine Stevie used all of them. He used the, the, ni- you know, the 9, or he used the 808. He used the 9, and then he used the 10. Um, as all our, all of us know, as guitarists, our sound, um, you know, evolves. Um, but it, it is, uh, if he had it on his board, it, it could have been just one of those things. You know, later on in songs, uh, in Stevie Ray's uh, career, songs like Tightrope and... and, uh, and uh, Crossfire, you know, there are some distinct, you know, overdriven, you know, much more overdriven sounds, tighter, tighter, less clean, you know, so uh, I'm going to read you just a little something here, what uh, GHS says about the TS-10. This particular TS-10 pedal is from 1986. Made famous by John Mayer, this model is a slight upgrade from the TS-9 for the late 80s. Bluesy, crisp, more low-end roll-off, and low gain. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? Let's see what it says about uh, the TS-9. 1982, nearly identical to the TS-808, but with slightly more pushed low mid-range. Okay, so... It's evolving. Pedal is evolving. What I have heard about the series is uh, <clears throat> the guys from Analog Man. First of all, if you ever want to know anything about a tube screamer, go to the Analog Man website. They, they do the full history. But uh, the guy over there says that it's cheaply made. It's a cheaply made pedal, and it's hard to find a good one. Even the guy Josh, the guy from GHS Pedals, who built the bonsai, he said he had a number of TS-9 pedals. And that this one that he put in the bonsai, he put in the bonsai, it was the best sounding one. I have experienced that with uh, Super Overdrives. I have uh, three, and they all sound different. And I do have one that, that you know works, I guess it just works better with um, you, your target. But um, the TS-10, I used to have a uh, um, Ibanez Fat Cat distortion. Um, that might be, uh, that's from the 10 series. Um, so you'll notice if you go on Reverb, you'll notice the, the 10 series, they're, they're a little, they're all hiked up, even though they're not as quality made. You don't know exactly what you're getting once you pop it open. They're known for, uh, you know, the jacks. I think they're made of plastic. Um, the cap, the cap for the 9 volt battery pops off quite a bit. I mean, for the to hold the pedal down in place when, when you open it. Um, so I just went through a bunch of settings here um, via uh, my setup. Um, I list my setup below and uh, TS10. The word uh, barky comes. Um, it sounds like a really good rhythm, rhythm pickup to me. You can do all that cool bluesy stuff, rhythm bluesy stuff. Um, it doesn't really, I, I don't know, it doesn't seem like I would go to it for just the solo channel. Um, in this demo, I do, I believe I do switch through the pickups. And um, I'm trying to find which pickup works best with it, but it does have different characteristics in the 808 and, 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 uh, and the uh, TS-9. Um, it, it 
did take me a minute to actually figure out what what it what the characteristic of it, uh, the nature of the test ten. But uh, take a listen, and you go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> you go down the rabbit hole. Check it out. Uh, you know, you'll see them listed for at least two hundred bucks. That's a good price on the Uber. You know, if it's in good shape. Two fifty, three fifty. I've seen them for like seven hundred dollars, brand new. So uh, y'all be the judge. But I decided to get the bonsai instead of you know searching and hoping the one sound that I like. And you know what? And it's gonna take me a minute to get used to the sound. You know, I mean, I still love the eight oh eight. You know, so all right, y'all feel obliged. Got a Venmo and PayPal. You guys keep practicing. And uh, take a listen to more uh, more tones and sounds I have here. Thanks a lot, guys. See you on the next one.